For more than a century, it has been hidden away behind barbed wire and bushland. Hornsby Quarry, a vast area of untapped potential that's just a short stroll from the CBD. Most residents barely knew the quarry existed and only noticed it each Friday afternoon when the boom of an explosion announced a new search for blue metal. All of that is destined to change when the quarry site is open to the public. When the quarry was abandoned by its owner, Hornsby Shire Council was forced to buy the site, which Mayor Steve Russell remembers well. Well, it was, uh, it was pretty devastating to be honest because it's such a big hole and such a big job to try and fix it. So um, we, we knew that we were in for a very tough uh, haul to try and uh, find a solution to it. Leaving it as it was wasn't a solution either because of the cost of maintaining it and the danger. The solution came with the New South Wales Government's North Connects project, which will ease traffic on the crowded Pennant Hills Road. A tunnel will link the M1 and M2 freeways taking thousands of vehicles off the road each day. Suddenly there is an abundance of crushed rock council can use to partially fill the quarry and transform it into a recreational park. When the North Connects came along that was a godsend. We, were, uh, we could see the opportunities. It wasn't the easiest option for them, there were easier options and that's why we had to go into bat and fortunately Matt Keane um, and I were able to achieve that. So the North Connects project fixes two problems for our community. Firstly, Penny Hills Road, the worst road in the country. But also, it gives us the opportunity to finally fix the big black hole behind me, the Hornsby Quarry. Work is already underway to prepare the adjacent site in Old Man's Valley, where a conveyor belt will carry an estimated 1 million cubic metres of dirt into the quarry, filling it by a third. That will end the involvement of North Connects in the project but the work of Hornsby Shire Council will just be starting. The quarry's sides will still be dangerously unstable and major earthworks will be required to make the area safe. We're literally going to see mountains move when we collapse the sides of this quarry and transform it from a disused hole in the ground to a wonderful park for the community to use forevermore. So what will the new park look like? Well, that's a question that is yet to be answered. Some preliminary designs have been created such as this concept image, but Council will not make any real plans until the community has been fully consulted. We're going to be consulting with the community extensively over the next few years and uh, at the end of the day it'll be a park that the people of Hornsby have built. The filling of the quarry will begin early next year and is expected to be completed by the end of 2018. It is hoped the full rehabilitation of the site will be finished in 2022. So we're going to transform the Hornsby Quarry into the Centennial Park of the North. I'm talking bike tracks, picnic areas, walking trails, something that future generations will be able to enjoy. It's just such a wonderful gift to the people of Hornsby that we can uh, now uh, realise. So I'm really, uh, really excited about it. It's looking forward to seeing the, the progress over the next few years.